I think you guys know that I have two YouTube channels. I have uh, Rosara's Investments and I have Low Limit Poker Challenge. And I've been investing and playing poker for a long time. And I think one thing that bothers me about many people, I don't think it's most people, but many people, is the negativity surrounding investing and the negativity surrounding poker. I see a common theme. So, if I say I've saved up 10,000 uh, or tens of thousands of dollars from poker, it means I've saved up tens of thousands of dollars from poker. So, if I make um, however much from poker or however much from work and I save up 10, 15, 20 thousand um, dollars, you know, if I say that's what I did, that's what I did. I mean, I have absolutely no reason in the world to lie. That's not a lot of money. There's people that, uh, I ran a, a credit report for someone and he makes $80,000 a month. Um, you know, the, the, there's no, <clears throat> you know, there's, there's no, there's nothing to brag about when you save up 20 grand. Uh, there's, there's plenty of people in the world that make millions, save millions. There's, there's I mean, I don't know any personally, but there's, uh, there's plenty of bil billionaires. I mean, I've, uh, I work for a billionaire. I work for uh, Herb Chambers. He's worth uh, four or five billion dollars. Um, just in my own company, I'm one of thousands of people that can save up twenty thousand dollars in a year. I mean, there's absolutely nothing to brag about. So it's ridiculous the negativity when uh, you see people on Facebook say like, "Oh, he's lying." Like, uh, you know, you can't make uh, this much per hour. It's you can't save up this much from poker. And blah blah blah. It's just like, some people are just so negative, it's ridiculous. And I think that's what prevents people from making money, from saving up money. Like, they, their, their negativity consumes them, and they complain about bad beats in poker, and they complain about why they're not winning, and they complain about this, and they complain about that. Instead of looking internally, how did I mess up this hand? What could I have done differently? Yes, I made $700 this hand. What could I have done differently? Why didn't I win all his chips? How could I have played this hand differently? How can I play better in the future? I don't care how much you won or lost this hand. How can I play better in the future? And it's ridiculous to complain. You should be self-criticizing. And the reason why I am currently able to buy into poker games for $5,000 now is because I have criticized myself. When I fuck up, I admit it to myself and I make myself better. I've been making myself better for years now. And that's why I can confidently say I am a good player. When I sat in the 25-50 game the other day, I was the best player in the game. Last time I played 5-10, I was not the best player in the game. I think I was the second or third best player in the game. But that day at the 25-50, I was the best player in the game. Uh, maybe Armando might be better. I don't know. It's undecided. I've only played with him a couple times. Uh, when I played in the 10-20 the other day, I was the probably the third or the fourth best player in the game. Uh, but anyway, the, the point is... I don't have negativity, I self-criticize. I'm honest about things. When I'm the best player, I say it. When I'm the worst player, which I have been, I have been the worst player on one, two games before because of tilt, because of emotion, when I was just playing badly. And I've had my buddies, they've had to pull me out of a poker game because I'm playing horrible. So I say it to myself, I'm the worst player today. I'm the third best player. I am the best player. <clears throat> so, you know, I've got myself to the point because of criticizing myself in a positive way how did I mess things up how could I have done them better in the future what am I going to do to succeed in the future I've gotten myself to a point where I do play a minimum of 510 no limit and I would prefer to be playing 10 20 uh, no limit every day but the game just doesn't run it's just not near my house and I prefer to uh, take shots at 2550 no limit once in a while so this is very parallel to what I experience with people in the investing world. So um, through my poker winnings and investing them in the stock market, investing them in index funds, investing them in individual stocks and different stuff, um, investing was my first passion and I am a profitable investor. I don't know, I don't think I would have beat the uh, S&P 500. Um, I've made plenty of mistakes to fuck that up. but. There's so much. Basically, my point when I when I started the uh, the YouTube channel was I don't make any money at all 
off of uh, telling people to invest money. My whole point was to, I became a parent about four years ago, and I see people that can't afford college, they don't go to the college they want, or they graduate, they have a lot of student debt. I was lucky enough that I worked overtime and I paid for my own college. My grandma saved up about $20,000, but I worked overtime and I made an extra fifty dollars or $60,000 or whatever it is. And I actually paid for uh, my college uh, with uh, cash. I actually just you know wrote a check um, out of my checking account for college. And um, I wanted other parents to invest for their kids. So, but when I post a video on YouTube, about investing, about buying index funds, open a, uh, you know, whatever. There's, there's always so much negativity on Facebook, like, oh yeah, but the stock market, blah, 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 this is why you're gonna lose money. Oh, this is why you can't guarantee you're gonna make money in the stock market. This is why, um, oh, he's only trying to promote uh, his uh, Robinhood account, so he gets a $3 free stock. Um, there's, there's so much negativity, like, um, oh, oh, he can't, he's not even beating the S&P 500, why should you listen to this guy? Um, th there's just so much negativity and what happens is for people that don't invest in index funds right now, for people that are watching my video or anybody's video for the first time, I don't care if they watch my video or someone else's video, they hear the negative words and then they don't start investing. They hear stuff like risk. They hear stuff like companies going out of business. They hear stuff like um, Enron going out of business. They hear stuff like this CEO left the company, or, or they hear stuff, actually here's a common one. Um, my coworker always asks me, oh, are you playing the stock market? And I'm like, no, I invest long term. I make money very slowly over the long term. And you know, people are like, oh yeah, but what if the stock goes down? What if this, what if that, what if this? And all these negative thoughts and all these negative discussions prevent people. And, and here's what I start telling people. First of all, index funds, the best thing. Warren Buffett said, 99.9% .9 of people would be better off if they just put all their money in index funds. I fall into that category. I would have been better off if I put all my money every day into index funds <coughs> instead of picking my own stocks. I pick some great winners, but the losers and the money not invested more than makes up for uh, not being invested. But the second thing I tell people is that forget about the stock market. When you buy shares of Dunkin' Donuts, you are an owner of Dunkin' Donuts. You own a piece of that company. That's not any funny talk. There's no me giving you misinformation or mixing up words or trying to make it sound good. When you buy a share in a company, you own a share of that company. So if you pay $75 for a share of Dunkin' Donuts, 10 years from now, Dunkin' Donuts is going to be selling more coffee. We don't have to wonder about what the stock, market mar stock market's gonna do because we know exactly what Dunkin' Donuts is going to be doing. So as an owner of the company, we know 10 years from now, Dunkin' Donuts is gonna be selling more coffee. So the stock is probably going to be worth a lot more money. Right now, they're a profitable company. If they sell more coffee in the future, they're going to be a more profitable company. It's not rocket science, it's patience. And actually getting started. You step up, open a brokerage account, buy shares of Dunkin' Donuts, 10 years from now, Dunkin' Donuts is going to be selling more coffee than they are today. I'm not a brain surgeon. I'm not telling people anything like miraculous, but I don't understand why there's so much negativity around the stock market. Just open up a fucking account, start investing, and yes, you will have $100,000, $200,000 in the future. I don't know exactly when you'll have that money, but I wasn't born with a couple hundred grand. I invested small amounts along the way. I got a paycheck. I bought a couple of shares of this. I bought a couple of shares of that. It builds up. You will build up to a significant amount of money. I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm not a millionaire, but I'm going to be. I don't need to hear all the reasons why most people can't be millionaires, or you can't do this, or this is why you're not gonna be a millionaire. I don't need to hear all those reasons. I had a sales job one time, and they said, are you gonna give me reasons, or are you gonna give me results? And I love that phrase. For myself, I'm giving myself results. I am going to be a millionaire. I am going to be a profitable 2550 no limit hold'em player. There, there is no backup plan. There is no second option. I don't like the negativity. I don't participate in the negativity. I am a very profitable 510 no limit player. I do have a job at Herb Chambers Honda. 
I love my job. I love making money at my job. I love the coworkers. I love the atmosphere. I love doing what I do, walking around and talking. I have no desire to be a professional poker player, but it is absolutely 100% guaranteed that I'm going to be a profitable 5, 10, no limit player, a profitable long-term uh, 10, 20, no limit player, because I've studied, because I've self-criticized, because I've made mistakes, and I criticize myself and get better at the game by studying. And it is absolutely guaranteed that I'm going to be a winning and profitable player in the 25, 50, no limit game. There is no plan B. I'm not being outrageous. I'm not being unrealistic. I'm telling you what's going to happen. All, all the people that are like, you know, thinking about lying about some, something or, or uh, you know, whatever it is, whatever the negative post of the day is that you're about to make, it doesn't matter to me because, but no, I, I shouldn't say that. It doesn't matter to me because I don't understand how people can be so negative. It doesn't matter to me financially because I do make a lot of money and that is a direct result of working hard and becoming better. Same thing with investing, working hard, adding to the account, becoming better at discipline, patience, stuff like that. And poker, becoming better at making decisions. But, you know, if you don't think you can become a millionaire, then you're not going to become a millionaire. If you don't think that you can play poker for $1,000 or $2,000, then you can't. That's the end of it. If, if you want to be negative and, and say... Um, how this is impossible or that is impossible. Like, there's literally people winning millions of dollars playing poker. And some people don't think, like, you can play a profitable 5-10 no limit or you can't play 25-50 profitably. Like, it's just ridiculous. I don't know. But I live my life through the lens of positivity. And I don't have a plan B. Um... Actually, I, I don't know if I've uh, told a lot of you this, but I actually have played a significant amount, not a significant amount, uh, 20 or 30 times. Um, I've played 2550. Uh, back when I was a professional player, I played uh, PLO. Uh, that was my game of choice. I played 5-5 PLO. I, um, I, if it was up to me and the game was always running, uh, my game of choice probably would have been 10-10 uh, PLO with a straddle. So that's a game you buy in with, uh, for two grand. Um, in the 5-5 five, five game, I, I like to play a little deeper. Um, I bought in for 1500 But I played a significant amount of both. And when there was a juicy... Uh, I, I mean, I preferred a 10-25 game because once you get up to stakes of 25-50, it gets uh, to be ridiculous. But I did play a significant amount um, this game in Yonkers, and I played at Borgata. So um, both were great games that I would uh, take a shot in. Um, I had a buddy of mine that he uh, bought either 40% or 50% of my action. So I have played a, a, a significant amount of higher stakes, but I do get nervous. Um, 25.50 is a big game. You know, when you think about it in normal terms, in normal money, it's a very big game. But I am, I'm mentally preparing myself, I'm getting ready, and I'm playing the game. And I feel like there's a lot of people that are like, oh yeah, I'll show up, I'll play. Like, no, you're not going to play, because you're not doing what it takes to uh, get yourself to that point where you're getting in the game. Um, so it's ridiculous, all the negative posts. You know, it goes to show me, like, these are people, th th these are the type of people that, well, I don't, I don't want to say it, but, I mean, you, you guys that are watching the video to this point, I mean, you know the types of people that are complaining about this, complaining about that. Uh, you know, they don't reach the highest status in their profession. They don't reach the highest status in poker. Um, you know, or they don't reach, you know, people that complain about investing, um, they, they, they never have hundreds of thousands of dollars invested because they never start in the first place. So that is the end of my rant today. I'm just going to put this on YouTube. Uh, leave me a comment if you'd like. Positive comments preferred. Have a great day. Give me a thumbs up and share the video if you would like. Bye, guys.